What's up guys, welcome back to Gladiator Tennis, to another beautiful location and to another top 5. This time our top 5 best rackets for control. Check it out. Yo, yo guys, by the way, quick disclaimer, okay, we're only going to be covering rackets that we've play tested and we actually have videos on them. So don't scream Prestige Pro and Prestige MP in the comments. We haven't done them, unfortunately we haven't, uh, but I'm sure that if we would have, they would have been on this list, but you know. Just, just a disclaimer, all right? So let's, let's get to the video. Yeah, guys, a uh, nice, beautiful location. <laughs> We're sorry. It's just that we forgot to take with us to that beautiful place one of the rackets, the first racket. So we had to come back home and record this racket at home. But... Yeah. Uh, so as much as, it, <laughs> as much as it hurts me to put this racket on the fifth spot of the list, I have to admit that it's not the bestest racket for control. What's kind of funny is that it's my racket, like my personal racket, so I, I forgot my racket to... Yeah. yeah. Overall, it's a great racket, but I mean, specifically your racket, it's, it's not that much of a racket <laughs> with all the weight, but uh, okay. overall... Yes, the Head Gravity Pro. So as I said, it's not the best for control. But that's because of the 100 inch head, you know, it kind of takes away a little bit of that stability, feel and control, but it gives it to the spin power and um, forgiveness of the racket. So, you know, it's, it's kind of like a balance that I kind of like in this racket, but not fully control oriented. But still, with the 18 by 20 string pattern and the thin beam, it is control oriented. So I'd say if you don't want to commit to a racket that is like, super small head and really unforgiving and you know you always got to play flat and right in front of yourself this is a great option you know because you know you can kind of defend kind of spin kind of you know do different things with this so definitely good if if that's your goal yeah. and and also it's it's fifth but if you like go from the other side it's like first so yeah. technically sure yeah. sure Grisha. yeah let's move on. Okay. <laughs> All right, All guys, right. so. I'm jealous of you because you see what I can see right now. Wait a second, it's way too beautiful. Oh, okay, nice. All right. <laughs> yeah, guys, so on. we decided to switch the location a little yeah. bit. Yeah, uh, and, and move on to the next racket. To number. the racket number four. Four, yeah. Which is? Which is? The blades, 18 by 20. Okay. V8. Eight. Eight. My memory is good, so sometimes it helps me, all right? V8. Okay, basically, you know that the world, the tennis, world population is like divided into half of them you place with Yonex yeah and the other half late <laughs> that's true actually yeah. that's like that I don't know why but lately that's the that's yeah. the rackets people are using at least the time. ones that we see around yeah, yeah yeah but I think they're they're they have the right to do so because uh, the blades are an amazing racket but specially or specifically the 18 by 21 is uh, very good for controlling but at the same time Overall, very nice, no? Like the For feel sure. and everything is all there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and it doesn't really like impede you in any way. You know, you can play the way you like. And so when you do a mistake or something, you know that it's because of uh, wrong movement because of, of yours. You. Yeah, <laughs> basically. So no one to blame, you know? Yeah. That's not a good thing sometimes because you want to, you know, no, it's not my fault and stuff like that. But anyway, that helps you to improve more because you know that uh, there's something wrong in your technique and stuff like that, and yeah. the racket is not the reason yeah. behind it. Arik was really insisting on putting this this racket higher yeah. up, but because he played incredible when we did the play test. Uh, but it, it is where it is. It is where it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, moving on to number three. This decision was a bit weird, even for us. A bit surprising, even for us. Because, ah, remember, keep in mind that we're talking about the rackets that we tested, like all of them. They don't have to be... Uh, the latest uh, ones. Yeah, the latest ones. So that's why we got the... Previous. The previous uh, Vcore 97 Pro, 330 gram version. Um, and even though it's a bit outdated, older than us a little bit, uh, it's still, uh, it still had to be on this list because uh, it's the control was amazing with this one. Of course, the shape and the beam, everything yeah. talks for itself. And uh, well, and the small 97-inch yeah. head. 
but once again, just like the maybe the blade, it has this mix of everything. It made me play one of the most satisfying points maybe of my life yeah. when we were testing it. Uh, you can check that out over here, or you're checking that out already. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. And of course, there's the new model, uh, which is a great racket also. Uh, so if you're considering to buy it, you can for sure go for it. Yeah. It's just this one. If we compare the two models, the latest one and this one, you're going to notice that this one is a bit more control oriented, a little bit. The, one, and the, the other new one is a, bit is a little more, more powerful. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's why this one ended up being on the list. But otherwise, it's a great racket. You can totally go for it. Yeah. And yeah, let's move that's on. that's if we talk stock form. So it's 330 grams in stock form, but you can get the 310 version and you know spec it up if you have lead available but if it's in stock form the 330 grams obviously the way to uh, go yeah the way to go all right let's move on yo guys Arik has something to say this time i'm gonna mark even more the ladies part because they said like they they were very active the, the two percent of ladies they were hey, were were here you know? yeah. So, yeah, so, yeah so ladies super ladies and gentlemen uh thank you for watching and supporting us all the time and uh, if you're not subscribed Please subscribe and of course follow us on Instagram. Uh, yes. we, we actually hit a thousand followers on Instagram just like today. So Celebr Cele celebrities, man. Yeah. It's it's Kim Kardashian and us, you know. It's it's not all thanks to, to them, right? It's it's, it's us. <laughs> no guys, thank you very much. Thank you so yeah. much. We Come really on. appreciate it. We didn't celebrate the one thousand subscribers, which was absolutely incredible to us. Yeah. But followers 1,000 1, followers, that's awesome. Also, it's 8th of March, so it's the ladies' day. That's why yeah. Arig is uh, insisting on the 2% of our audience today. Every day is ladies' day. All right, guys, so moving on to racket number two, which honestly would be uh, number one if it wasn't for Arig. In my list, it would take the top spot. Yeah, but it's not Vicious list because, uh, well... It's the two of us, apparently. Just yeah. the two. All right, guys. Basically, this racket. I'm happy that I'm not. I'm not showing it to you, or I'm not taking it right now because it would be flying away right now. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't exactly enjoy no, it no, uh, no, when no, we no. play tested it. The, but I did. The Yo Yonex V Core 95. So, guys, it's an awesome racket overall. Okay, just, just, yeah, just overall, so you know. Yeah, for sure. Great racket. Okay, uh, but it's it's really demanding. Okay, with its 95 inch head, you really got to work to play well with this. But and, and it's not the best for, for topspin. Maybe that's why he didn't like it. And it's not the best for power. Maybe that's also why he didn't like it. But man, for control, pfft, very few rackets. For me, none of the rackets do it better. Uh, but yeah, uh, also feel. Feel is crazy. I mean, 95 inch head, being a Yonix, you can kind of understand where I'm going with this. Uh, but yeah, the problem is that you gotta really work to play well with this. And that's my, the main drawback and why some people might not really like it. But for me, this and the Yonex 98, the Ezo 98, sorry, are the two my two favorite rackets in the in the Yonex range. So yeah, I definitely recommend you try it out. Really try it out. If you can play with this, you can play with this really well. All right, guys, the number one, the numero uno. Uh, it had to be. Had, had to, to be. be. No long introduction is needed for this legendary racket the Wilson Pro Stuff 97 V13 RF edition okay guys uh, the one we're holding here isn't uh, exactly the RF edition yeah is there gonna be an explanation to why it's not the RF edition no uh, we didn't find it yeah, there, uh, yeah not, not to for today problem. but it's <laughs> it's the RF okay um, I mean we all know what it is right it's a really heavy very control oriented frame why it's number one because both of us really liked it like when we play tested it we both were like after finishing it we were like yeah it makes you consider it like it doesn't matter what kind of player you are even though you know it's not right for you it's like it's it's really great tempting. Yeah, tempting. it's tempting yeah it's and actually like seducing. I, i'm sorry yeah i even thought about maybe but then i looked at the price and i was like <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh but yeah what I was saying, what I was, what, what, I, what, I, what, I, what, I, what I wanted to say was that uh, it might be not as demanding as the the thing that you call racket, the Yonex 95, the Vigor 95, but it's almost yeah, at, uh, up yeah. there. Like it doesn't really help you on the baseline. Like the feeling, the sensation of when you're hitting those shots is great, 
but uh, you have to do a lot of work to pull uh, pull up you know the shots that are yeah. coming deep and yeah so basically if you're not playing the shot here yeah, it's, it's a little it's bit complicated hard. if you have to like save it up save it a little bit it doesn't really help you here but if you're Roger, go with Roger, of course, yeah. when it comes, if you're, I mean, if you're a player that plays a lot of slices, goes to the net, no other Serve option volley, is going to be better. Because sure, it was great on the serves. Um, oh, that's right. On the yeah. flat serve, this was just a monster. Yeah. So, yeah. And once again, in stock form, maybe, uh, I would maybe consider the 310 version with some weight on it, right? Three, is it 310, the original one? I mean, th this one, okay, I would consider it with some lead on it. Uh, maybe, but yeah, in stock form, this is definitely the the best, the best of the best. Yeah, yeah. looks classy, but it's a monster. Yeah, and, a th stuff. and th that's why it's that's why it's on the on top one on the list because we both really like it and it's incredible for control. And just... All right. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you very much. We'll oh. see you in the next one. This is not our last stop, so stay tuned for the next yeah. ones. And bye bye. Es que no puede ser. Dude, guys, the cars that are passing by is just crazy. Look. <laughs> okay, now it's a car reviewing channel. Dale, 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 dale. <laughs> Look at that 911, 992. <laughs>